How's it going, Yankees fans? This is NYNews.com. Mike Paz, where everyday ordinary Yankees fans get a platform to showcase their opinions. Submit your takes in MP3 audio to NYInsider at gmail.com. I can help you explode. Hey, this is Ruben with NYY News uh, and Mike Pass. Thank you, Felix, for passing the mic on to me this time. And uh, in the words of Felix, hola, como estas? Uh, so I just want to touch on a couple things today, guys. Um, again, this is Ruben. Um, my good friends here at NYY News uh, gave me the chance to go ahead and, and get on here and basically talk about uh, this off season and see what what's going to happen with the Yankees and and, and and also give my takes on it. Now, let's go with the with in terms of like what the Yankees should do, what they need to do in order to win um in terms of moves. Uh definitely we they need to make sure that in terms of player personnel, they need to have um, a first baseman that is left-handed, go glove caliber, go glove ability. Um, there's three different options that we um, have this offseason. If it was up to me, at this point, I want championship caliber. I want... Um, experience on this ball club. We need some guys that are proven winners, guys that can um, give a, 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 that experience to the the players that haven't won yet. So, with that said, I would I, I definitely want for at first base. I would be happy with either Freeman. Or even Rizzo, they both won championships. They both have won at high levels. And obviously, Freeman is the better offensive player right now. Um, they both have won um, gold gloves in the National League. Freeman is a more athletic guy. So I want more athletes. I want more guys that are more contact-based, more um, results-based. Um, Rizzo hasn't performed Um to his ability since 2019. So if you give me the uh, first choice, I, I definitely want Freeman. So I want a 300 hitter, 400 on base, 500 slug. You know, that's typically, you know, perfect kind of player you want. Put him in New York. That contact bat's going to make a big difference for the Yankees and left-handed as well. So Freeman has cut down in his strikeouts. Um, he's in, been consistent 300 hitter for the, since for like the last seven years. He's probably been the best, one of the very top offensive first basemen, and he's left-handed. So get us Freeman, sign a shortstop, platinum glove winner Carlos Correa. I, I I like Correa, I like Story, I like both. I can make an argument for either side, but in terms for me, I. I what I do like about Story is that he, his health is good. Doesn't have the same injury scares. The guy has speed. We lack speed on the top of the lineup. But to be honest, at this point, give me Korea, man. I, I need a guy with attitude. I need a guy that's going to hold other players accountable de- defensively. We we don't really have that defensive captain in the infield. Like, we don't have a guy that's going to go and say, yo, be ready for this. Move over there. Move over here. Like we need a guy that's a defensive captain, and Korea can be that. So, and Korea has the potential offensively to get better, man. In New York, um, you know he's always been touted as the Puerto Rican version of um, of of the next coming of A Rod. Who knows? Maybe this is the time where he starts performing like it offensively. But defensively, he's 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 top notch, man. He's top notch and. We need a guy that's clutch in the playoffs. He, he makes contact as well. And we really need to make those moves. Um, at this point, if the Yankees truly, truly want to build from within, they need to sign these two players. The reason why I say that is because if you sign these two players, 
you give your young guys in the minors time to develop. And when they come up, they're coming up to experience. They're coming up to guys that can get them to direct their energy in the right way, direct their concentration in the right way. So if they want their prospects to not turn out into busts, do what the Dodgers did. Do what the Yankees did in the 90s. Have veterans around them. Bring up the young studs with that veteran presence. Get that that, that young stud a head start in their ability to perform. Not have pressure on them to be their savior. So we got to get Freeman. If we get Rizzo instead of Freeman, you know, all I know is that Rizzo better be in the best shape he's been in, in the last five years. Like, we need him to to be legitimate again. Because Rizzo was a beast in 2019. People forget he had a 290 average, 400 on base, 500 slug. I mean, he was a 900 OPS guy. But I still want, I still want Freeman. So the way to go is Freeman, Correa, You know, and, and to be honest, I'd be willing to give Glaber a shot at second base and, and DJ at third, even though I prefer DJ at second. I would give Glaber a shot at third with a Korea at short. But, you know, either way, we need Korea, we need Freeman. Whatever the other decisions are, just make sure that you guys have the same defensive alignment every day. Every day, like the, this moving players around consistently doesn't work. Doesn't help with the consistency of the defense. Players aren't used to each other. We're humans. We're creatures of habits. So, like, you need to, like, build consistency in their way of, of defending. They know they need to know each other's strengths and weaknesses. So, consistency in the same, um, same um, defensive line are consistently. Bring some gold glovers in there. We'll have three about that will give us about three gold glove winners. That'll be pretty much close to what we had in 2009 when we had four gold glove winners. Even though Iraq got them at short and the third, but either way, he was a gold glove caliber uh, player. So we need we need some gold glovers in the middle in in the infield. That goes to my next thing, in terms of Gallo and left field. Gallo needs to fix that loopy swing of his. Gallo's a stud, man. Like in terms of talent, the guy the guy has it all, bro. He he has the arm, he has the power, left handed, runs fast. I mean the guy runs, bro, at six five. He 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 can really run. So like looking at Gallo, he plays hard, bro. Like he just needs to fix that swing a little bit more level-headed, like sit with Judge and 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 Rizzo and and Stanton and look how their swings are more level, more more flat in a sense, more straight to the ball. So that way, dude, like how are you not using your speed to get for doubles? This team, if there's anything that I criticize this team is that this team was not ready to run last year. And I'm not saying just to, you know, like in terms of sitting bases. We don't we didn't have the kind of personnel in, initially, uh, even though I, I always thought that Glaber should have been sitting bases. Different story. Um, but Gallo should be a guy that easily gets you 40 doubles and 40 home runs. His swing, line drives as hard as it, and, and as strong as this guy is, and as hard as he hits the ball. He should be 40 doubles, 40 home runs easy, minimum 250 average from him. You you give us a Gallo with, instead of 230 strikeouts, make it 180 strikeouts. Give him a 250 average. That transforms the lineup with the, with the Freeman, with the Korea added. So, I, I say, let's do it. Let's go for it. It's time for the Yankees to win. And for those who say batting average doesn't matter, you know what? In the words of Pete, FIP you. FIP you, okay? The whole point of this is is 
we've gotten eliminated offensively because of we don't make enough contact when we need to. Why do you think they sent Judge home on that wild card game? Gallo was up. Gallo was not going to get a hit. The odds were stacked against him for the, of saying that Gallo was actually going to go and hit the ball. Oh, he, he's a, he, he can walk. We didn't need to walk at that moment. We needed to score. I didn't think Judge should have gone, but at the same time, when you got Gallo up on deck, and Gallo is like basically hitting 160, batting average doesn't matter, bro. And if you look at it, the last Yankees team, the lowest batting average was 249. And that was Nick Swisher. Posada, 285 hitter. Melky Cabrera that year, 270-something. 282 batting average or 284 average from Johnny Damon. 286 from A-Rod. 334 from Jeter. 292 from um, Mark Teixeira. 320 from Robinson Cano. Where do you see the weakness? We need balance in this lineup. That lineup was one of the most balanced lineup that you could ever have. You had four switch hitters at one point. You had four switch hitters, three left-handed bats, and two right-handed bats. That team could literally play anywhere and have an advantage. We need to have that again. So, batting average doesn't matter. But with hard contact, hard, doubles, home runs. The last, I run this title a while back. 11 of the last 13 teams that have gone to the um, to the World Series in the American League. And same thing with like the, the, the um, in terms of like winning. They've been tops in batting average. And they've been... Tops and low and then having the lower amount of strikeouts. And people still try to argue the batting average doesn't matter. Now we'll give you this. Batting average alone doesn't is no good. You need batting average with power. The Yankees in 2009 were the epitome of that. Batting average, hard contact, walks, balance in the lineup. So if you guys really want to win, Yankees, get your head on straight. Sign Freeman. Sign Correa. Shoot. If you can get a, 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 a center fielder, get us Contreras as a catcher, this is our chance. This is our chance. Let's do it. We got to win. You already messed up in 2010 by not getting Cliff Lee or Roy Halladay. And now we've been winning for 13 years. So much for trying to repeat, huh? All right, guys. Well, this is Ruben. Uh, thanks, uh, Felix, for the uh, passing the mic on this one. And, uh, you know, if you guys uh, don't mind, check out my channel. Uh, the N1Y News guys have been uh, good to me. And uh, basically my channel is uh, Yankees News with, with Ruben. And uh, keep supporting the N1Y News guys, man. These guys are legit. And they're going places. Now let's get these Yankees to open up their eyes. We gotta get the, the uh, pressure on this front office to make the right moves. We haven't gotten to the top five in batting average and top five in strikeouts since 2009. In terms of lowest amount of strikeouts, by the way. 2019 was the closest, and we're still like seventh or eighth in strikeouts. So let's get let's get. Let's get let's get that championship. It's time. Peace out guys.